Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new kit that just arrived for The Sims 4 today, which is the Sims 4 Party Essentials Kit. To be honest, this one kind of looks like more party stuff that I'm not too excited about, but it should be interesting to take a peek at all of the items in the game. So we're on the main screen right now. I just purchased this kit and this is what you're going to see. Celebrate anything. These decorations don't just fade in the background, not even the backdrops. Coordinate with matching pieces or mix and match to create the perfect mood for any occasion. Every day is a party. This kit has all the essentials your Sims need to share some good times. Throw a birthday party, a big bash complete with a disco ball, or a chill hangout session with friends. It's going to draw out a box for us to take a peek at everything with indoor lighting. And here we are filtering by party essentials. So let's take a look at everything. First of all, are there any new floors or wallpapers? It doesn't look like it. I didn't think so, but I wanted to double check. All right, our first item is the Partyscape dining table, which looks like this. I actually really like this. I like the style of the table and we don't have a lot that have tablecloths on them. So I think this is really nice. And the swatches look nice too. There's some more subtle colors and some really bright ones. That one in particular, I think is very nice. Yeah. This is a decent item. I do wish we had it without the tablecloth as well. I feel like it'd be more versatile that way. Next up, we have the centerpiece food pedestal. Okay, that's cute. It looks like that's where you could put like a cake or something and it comes in a bunch of fun colors as well as black and white. Not mad at that. We also have the minimalists dance floor. Oh, okay. So it's like a, basically an invisible dance floor. Let's see. Yeah, invisible dance floor may not be the flashiest of party tricks, but it certainly will impress. Okay, because all of our other dance floors in the past have like a sh shape to them and a pattern, like maybe a different flooring. So having one where you can just place it down and it's not going to look like you placed a dance floor, but your Sims can utilize it, I think is really nice. The chic and chill home bar. Ooh, okay. I actually really like this bar. I, I'm kind of shocked that I'm impressed right now, but this looks like such a beautiful piece to put in your Sims homes. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Let's take a peek at the swatches. Have a bunch of wood tones here. Ooh, look at the pattern of the wood on the doors. Okay, I'm very impressed with this item. That is gorgeous. Next up, we have a party on poster. Cute. It looks like we have some tapes on here, like some cassette tapes, some balloons, some stars, and some hearts. I don't know how often I would use this. Maybe the first one in like a teen's room is some artwork, but the other ones, I just, I don't see myself using this very often, but I do like the original swatch. I'd be curious how you all would use this. The party board. Interesting. I don't like how flat those stars are on it, but I guess they could be paper. Just like a little board and a bunch of swatches to say, hey, we're having a party here. Some of these are pretty cute though. I really like the butterfly one. I don't know, there's just something about that flat texture that's bothering me, but I like the idea behind this piece. Next, we have under the streamers. So we have some streamers you can hang from the ceiling, which is kind of cool. Pinks and blues. I like the like more rainbow swatch there. That's cute. There's also a proper rainbow, some more pastel ones, black and white, black. That's all right. I don't think I'm gonna use it very often, but it's cute. About last night confetti. Okay, cool. There's like just some confetti pieces you can throw on the floor. And it looks like we have a variety of swatches here to match all of these swatches we've been seeing. I like that it changes the shape of it. So there's like heart ones, stars, circles, and squares. That's cute. Next, we have the balloon bouquet. Honestly, I don't mind this piece. That's actually pretty cute. Once again, very specific to throwing a party, but it is really nice. And I could see it being used for a variety of things like a kid's party. This one could be for a wedding. That one's so cute. I love the pastels. Like I think it'll work nicely with the balloon decor we got from high school years for prom. Not something I feel like I needed, but it's decent. Festive party streamers. So it looks like we have the same sort of streamers that go across the ceiling, but for the wall. So you can kind of make it look like they're connected, which is kind of cool. Let's see how that looks there. Yeah, I like that. I think you could dress up some parties this way. This is cute. Simstagram worthy stereoscopic drape. Wow. Okay. Honestly, the first thing I thought of this was making some cool kitchen backsplashes. I'm going to be doing that with this. Like, you know, oh, wow. Okay. I'm excited about that. Like these fun colors are going to be so good for a ch kitchen backsplash. But of course, you know, it's meant to be a background for your Sims to take photos against. But look at this. You can't tell me that wouldn't be adorable in a kitchen. We have the LED party strip. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So it's another one of these LED strips, but the light goes way further down and it comes in a variety of colors. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, these are cool. We have the Simstagram worthy neon sign. Oh, wow. Just changed the walls to have a plain white color so we could see a little bit better. These are really cute. The uh, freezer bunny. We have just some fun flamingos. There's a cow plants, llamas, aliens. Like this is really cute. We also have luminescent ribbons, which these are pretty cute. I could see these maybe being in a teenager's room as well as just a party. Ooh, there's stars on some of them and circles and hearts. Those are cute. The party starters balloon pile has some like twinkle lights on it and we also have the balloon bundle so these are the same except one is like on a string and these are the swatches we are working with very cute same ones on this one as well i'm actually pretty okay with this so far let's move back over to the table for our next thing which is the cups and straws station looks like we have a space for you to get a drink and there's lots of cups and straws and stuff the colors are cute I did see a lot of people talking about the quality of this item in the pictures that were released of it, and I don't know. It's not bothering me too much. I think it's a cute item. Next, we have the snack clutter for party people. Oh, this is just going to be cute in kitchens, to be honest. Let me move the cake platter out of the way. Looks like we have like some Pringles, some other chips, maybe some nuts or candy in the back, and some plates in the front. Yeah, that's cute. I could see myself using that one. Next, we have the Curve TV by Screensure. And this one has some fun lights behind it. And it's way curvier than the other curved TV we have in the game, which I believe is from City Living. Let's see the price on this. $33.25. That's not too bad. I do like the colors behind it. That is fun. Ooh, are they like ombre colors? Oh, those are so pretty. Yeah, I like that piece. We also got the Good Vibes wall speakers to go with the TV. So I'm going to put these on either side. That looks really cool. Wow. Some really simple swatches, but I think that's quite nice. The piece I was the most excited for this entire time, though, is this, which is the new Faithful Turntable. Oh my gosh, look at this item. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Look at the swatches. Oh, the artwork from Werewolves is right there. That's cute. I like that. I like this a lot. That's a really nice piece. I feel like that's going to be used in a lot of my builds, as is this bar. They are just two beautiful items that I am excited to use in future builds. All right, we have a few items left, which are actually at the bottom, which is the party light. This adds some elegant lighting effects. All right, are we able to see that in Build and Buy? I don't think so, but here are those swatches of that. There's also a fog machine, which is quite cool. You can have your Sims enjoy that. I always loved a fog machine. I think they're a fun item to have in real life. So I think it'll be cool to have my Sims have that. And then we also have this light, which is another piece that I think will be pretty versatile. I think it's really cute. Next up, we have the luminous light tickles. <laughs> they're so bright. It's hard to see them. This is a really cute cluster of lights. Wow, they're really simple, but I think they make quite the statement. They're they're quite modern too. I really like that piece. Of course, we have the disco ball, the party starters disco ball, and it comes in a few swatches here as well. What's the difference between this one and this one? Okay, one's like slightly warmer, but uh, I'm excited to see that in action in gameplay. But this is what it looks like in build and buy. And then our last item is the fiber optic garland, which is actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's cute though. Let's see what it'll look like a few of these put together. That's really cute. And it only comes in that one swatch, which is kind of unfortunate. I think I want to play around with this a little bit and try to put together a room with some of these items because overall, I feel like I'm more impressed than I thought I was going to be. I was not excited about this one. I knew I was going to like this item, but I did not know about this one. And I also really like the TV. So I'm more impressed than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I think this is what I've come up with. I know it's just like a corner of a room, but I think it looks pretty cute. So this is probably something like what you're gonna see in the thumbnail. I might play around with it a little bit more, but there's a couple of items in here that I am really excited about, particularly the bar and the turntable. But let me know what you're thinking of this one and if you think you might pick it up. And if you do and this review was helpful, uh, you can use the code Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I 
at checkout and that code goes to support me and my channel if you are interested in doing that. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just a nice way to support creators and because I mentioned that I have to say this portion of the video was sponsored by EA. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think of this kit and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.